Hello, and good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is a nice, rainy Monday morning. I got my cup of coffee. And I'm ready to look at the charts. Uh, now there's a few things that I want to talk about today. Um, I want to talk about Bitcoin breaking this resistance level that we were talking about in my last video. And I also want to talk about how to plot these support and resistance levels and how to use these levels to better your trading. All right, let's do it. So um, I guess let's start with this now. If you watched my video from earlier, Remember I talked about how Bitcoin was hovering around this resistance level right here at about 39.4. You can see it bounced off it a few times before it eventually broke out and it broke directly up to this next resistance level that I had plotted at approximately 40k. You can see it wicked up a little bit above it but right now it came below the body of this candle is below this resistance level so um yeah I mean I would say it looks like this four hour momentum wave is clipping off on Bitcoin let's uh let's actually see what the three hours looking like we got another green dot on the three hour I don't know maybe we can push up to this next resistance at 42k we might be able to do that today. Alright, but now let's talk about these S and R levels because I know from personal experience these have proven to be a very powerful tool, especially with my trading. Now, I am not an experienced trader by any means. I've only been trading for a uh, about four months now so I'm still pretty new to this but one thing I can tell you is that since I started using these support and resistance levels my trading has greatly improved from you know me losing almost every trade to me actually winning a good portion of the trades I enter or at least when I do enter a trade I'm able to manage my risk better set my stop losses at 5% and take advantage of the big moves and so when I win I'm winning big so I can afford to take a couple losses get stopped out a couple times it's really just about developing your own strategy alright so now Let's talk about support and resistance levels. So, how would one map out these levels? Well, pretty much just want to look for areas where the candles wick down and either find support or find resistance on these levels. You want to look for you want to look for these confluence areas in as many places as you can. Now I know a lot of people like to draw their support and resistance levels from all the way over here using January as as a marker too. But you know I found that these levels I marked out here just using these work just fine and they're probably you know pretty much the same levels as over in January because you know, these are the areas where it's finding the most support and resistance. So it probably would make sense if they were the same levels back in January. You know what I'm saying? So how does somebody map out these areas on their own? Alright, so I'll get rid of this one right here. So what you're looking for is you pretty much just want to take your cursor and you want to start from the left side 
and look for these areas. So you can see right here, there was a wick down to this level right here, followed by a wick up to this level right here. Another found resistance or found support there, found support here, and uh, when it broke down, I used this area as resistance right here. And then there's plenty of support area right here. So this is a very strong level of support and resistance. So what you want to do, click this button right here, go over to horizontal ray, and then just line it up, plot it out. So let's, uh, let's look at another one of these levels I had marked out. You see right here, there was some support here. The body of these candles closed right on this level, so some resistance there. Just lots of confluence around this area. The price was just sticking around this area for a while here. Resistance and resistance. And you see what happens when we break through these levels. We usually break up to the next resistance level right here, which is exactly what we did. So not only are these levels incredible for finding entries on trades, but they can also be extremely helpful for choosing your exits. If you have these marked, you notice that price is struggling to get above one of these levels. Maybe you know it's time to take some profits. So, yeah, I, I do suggest that if you're going to be trading, first off, you should have Market Cipher. If you want to purchase Market Cipher, I got the link in the description for you. Obviously, it's not my indicator. That would be CryptoFace. Such a good guy. But another tool that I believe everybody should be using is some sort of either support and resistance levels, or I know uh, I know CryptoFace uses spider lines, and those work well for him. You know, just find just find what works for you. Find what combination of indicators works best for you. I find that uh, Market Cipher B support lines, Market Cipher A, and the DBSI is. Uh, is a great combination for finding winning trades. All right, so let's look at Ethereum. See, I got these levels marked out on Ethereum as well, and well, you can you can just see how much Ethereum respects these levels. Starting down here, lots of confluence followed by this candle finding resistance on it. Uh, you had a little breakthrough and then there was support on that level and then when it broke up it came back down and found support again look at this wick straight down to this level support support you can just see all these levels of confluence so it almost makes these markets you know just a little bit more predictable when you come to these support lines, you can expect a reaction. You see right here, this would have been a nice trade. Higher lows, holding support on this level, followed by resistance of this level right here, and then a breakup. Just shot straight through this resistance and this resistance. Right now, it's hovering around this one. So we could. We could see Ethereum possibly break up a few more levels here. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll just have to see how it plays out. All right. So before we end, I'll look at Market Cipher quickly. We'll see what Bitcoin is looking like. So daily volume still not looking that good. Not much has changed. It looks like the 12 hour volume though is coming up more than it was yesterday. It looks like it's getting closer and closer to the zero line right here, which is good. Eight hours still extremely close. And 
the six hour is still up there it, it had a sharp spike up and now it's kind of flattened out and it's just sort of chilling up here around this, uh, this 10 level which isn't that high but hopefully it means that has potential to go a little higher it does look like this momentum wave is starting to slow down possibly going to clip off soon if you see it's starting to come to a point up at the top when that white clips off that's usually how you know that the move is over for a little bit but uh, I mean if you look over here right here when it clipped off right here it pretty much immediately picked back up and that's when we had that pump up right there so just because of slowing down doesn't mean it can't keep going higher it just means that for the time being looks like Bitcoin is gonna be stuck at this level for a little bit so I'd be looking for possibly a breakout above these levels to approximately the 42k area and then after that I'll have to start marking out new levels up here so right there you can see the bodies had support there and then it broke through came up tested as resistance and that's when it broke down so that's a good level I like that 45k region resistance broke through came back down tested it and that's when we broke down and uh, yeah I'll mark out this one too mark that one out because we had that wick down to it followed by this wick up to it and they were both right off that 44 4 level so those are the levels I would be watching next if we uh, if we continue this trend that we're on and yeah here on the one hour it's pretty obvious that we're finding pretty solid resistance off this level looks like Bitcoin could be breaking down from it yep knew that 30 minute DVSI number would be looking big to the bear side so I would expect maybe something similar to what we saw right here off this resistance level is you know just bobbing around this resistance level before eventually breaking up again Bitcoin usually likes to move in in fours so I would consider this the first stretch this the second maybe we get three I don't know if we're gonna break 42 though could look something like that we might find resistance at 42 for a little bit we might need some more momentum some more volume some more money some more money flow before we're able to break above that 42 level because that is extremely strong resistance but uh, we'll I guess we'll see what happens all right guys well uh, that's pretty much it I guess for today you know I suggest you even if you don't have market cipher if you just wanna start to learn how to look at charts how to map out these levels just you know pull up trading view it's free and just start marking out some of these levels and and watch watch the charts you'll see that Bitcoin if you choose good levels it will respect them all right guys well that's pretty much it I hope you all have a wonderful day see you later